and such things. Heck, if he had his, uh, if he had his banshees out, some people forget falcons are also transports. So, uh, he could have, you know, run the transport in to, uh, to the looters if they, before they got the, uh, the beaminess on him. Um, I will say that he's, let's see, what do you get? Oh, you got a rich bit of Kernos on here. Man, I remember when the Eldar, uh, uh, the Warlock used to be almost, Board of the Warlock was almost was exclusively played with uh, Providence, the Witchblade of Kurnos, and uh, and um, the Warp Throw. That made him just, stuff would disappear. Um, but, it's no longer, no longer, I think I've, I've read, I'm not 100% sure if this is true, but the, uh, the fact that um, the Farseer actually does more damage than the... Uh, the Warlock, I think the Warlock will be able to take more, and it's more melee based in that regard, but I'm pretty sure that the Farseer is, um, is able to, uh, to deal out damage quicker, initially anyway, um, without any upgrades. But, um, but yeah, that was really just a, and you'll see at the, uh, at the end game, the stats after here, exactly kind of went down, combination of stuff, um, between points and units, and, uh, I think it was mostly that starting build order. Um, I don't think this is unbeatable. Of course, this is Pega 2, this build order with uh, with the orcs. Um, so you know, his micro and and such is is quite good. So that's the end of the game there. <coughs> um, so yeah, let's go check out the the after game stats. Relic really needs a new loading screen. I'll yeah, that's all. All right, so <coughs> got the commanders. Like I said, the warlock was used quite well between the ML8 and uh, just kind of getting around in destructor with the orcs. Um, only lost it once, that's something. Uh, on the other hand, um, so yeah, actually the commander went better. Um, War boss being used not as a tank as much as really just um, just the biggest orc out there to, to kill stuff. And he does it damn well too. Units, um, at this point when you're seeing 55 units killed um, with Eldar and they only killed 43 orcs, that's, that's, a, that's a bad sign. Um, <laughs> Eldar are cheaper, or, well, I guess if those have been a multitude of Guardians, Guardians are pretty cheap to reinforce, that haven't been too bad, but <laughs> it wasn't, it was Banshees and Wraith Guards and, and, uh, and, and so on and so forth from there. <coughs> so this is, uh, yeah, this is kind of a general show of, of some of the poor micro, plus just good, solid, uh, play by Pipega. And then we have, this is where it kind of comes a little bit more obvious on what goes down. Um, requisition was about equal, um, however... Then we check out power, and uh, you see that 11 built, 8 built, so they're actually, Iron Hands had more more power, but he lost all but two of them. Well, Pega only got four, so that really testifies to, one, the power of the orcs to spread across the the entire um, map quite quickly and easily, but two, also just the fact that um, Pega was more aggressive and began harassing, um, which is just something that uh, Iron Hands really never got around to. Which, uh, yeah, I mean, in any RTS, when I used to do Kane's Wrath, that was the main thing that um, players usually didn't figure out, was that if you destroy their ability to gain resources, uh, their economy, then, then you're screwed. And we see that again here. Um, Pega got 26 captured, um, and uh, so even though they lost about the same amount of points, Pega was far more effective at, uh, at grabbing stuff. So, that is, that is that. I hope you enjoyed. This is my first Dawn of War 2 shoutcast. Be gentle on the forms, um, and yeah, give me give me tips. I know I'm not uh, not quite as good at this as I as I used to be, but um, I really like this game. So yeah, tell me what you think. I hope you enjoyed. This has been Captain Gergs. I don't know.